What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another Fire Mountain video. <laughs> Pardon my heavy breathing. I'm walking up this awesome drainage here. This weekend I'm volunteering with the Rocky Mountain Goat Alliance and I'm doing goat surveys. <clears throat> so we're headed up to goat country here in the Bridger Mountains, right outside of Bozeman, Montana. This is pretty awesome along the trail here. Just tufts of goat fur everywhere. Look at that. They're shutting off their winter coats right now. So most of the males should have all their winter coat off. And this is their winter coat. This is some extremely awesome country. Couldn't be any more stoked to be here right now. It's so beautiful. So we're heading up there, going north a little bit more to Hard Scrabble Peak. But so far, man, this hike has been beautiful. Just to almost to the top. Part of the first goats of the trip. Hopefully the wind isn't too bad. It's howling up here. But uh, from the naked eye, I see one, two, three, four goats. Let me try to get you guys on. So that's the mountain we're actually supposed to be at, Hard Scrabble Peak, up top there. So we're gonna pass by. We're going to be passing goats pretty much to our, our survey location, which is pretty awesome. And down from the parking lot, I glassed up the peak we're going to. And on the other side, unless that's it right there, but I think on the other side, from the parking lot, I saw like 20 goats. So we're going into a rich game environment for goats on our mountain, and I'm really stoked to get over there. So don't worry, well, I'm sure we're going to get some major close-up shots. I have my spotting scope and uh, phone scope and all that good stuff. So I'll get some hopefully awesome footage of the goats. So get over there, probably try to find a place to camp and then start counting. So anyways, this is going to be a blast. So those goats are just right over the top of this hill. And we pretty much got to get onto this ridge line to make it to our location. So once we hop up on top of this, we should have an awesome view of those goats. Try to get some photos and video footage of them. And then um, mark them down for the count survey. Looks like a bunch of nannies with uh, like a kid and maybe a yearling, some young ones and nannies. But it's hard to tell. I can't keep my binos very steady. It's really windy. So not unless I sit down or something. But we'll find out once we get up and over this. Well, I just came back over another little hill here and just bumped into a big group of goats. So I figured I, I need to start tallying these down and start trying to identify them before I keep just moving them along here. So they seem to settle down. I mean, this this nanny, I'm 99% sure it's a nanny, is bedded like 50 yards below me. So she's pretty chill. The rest of the group just kind of bedded down about 100 yards down there. So 
I'm gonna get the binos out. Let's do some identifying. There's a few kids in this group um, and nannies. There, I haven't got a hundred percent idea on a bill yet, but I'm gonna take a look and see what I come up with. Now, uh, time to get to writing. So this is becoming quite the task. There's Billy right here. Fed into us out of nowhere. I'm trying to keep tabs on all these. There's a bunch of nannies and kids. I think I just rough counted 21. So I'm gonna go back through them again. Try to individually count. I've been taking notes on the paper, but I gotta start over. This is a difficult task when there's this many goats. <laughs> this is crazy. Alright, back to phone scope. Sweet home for the night. Pretty epic view to go with it. You can't complain. There's goats right up here still. Maybe you can see them. One right there. And one right there. Two nannies, two kids, four of them. The rest of them took off. Went up that little, you can see the trail along that ridge line. It went out back there somewhere. There she goes. Hopefully, we get no rain. It was yesterday, uh, it was just all, pretty much all week. It was hot, dry, just really hot and blue skies. And then, so, we were expecting this weekend to be the same. And then the hike in this morning just wasn't like pouring rain but it was annoying little sprinkles sprinkling rain pretty much all the way till we got to the top with howling winds and cloud cover everywhere but now as you can see it's pretty dang blue so it passed through which was nice so hopefully it'll hold off for the weekend and uh, continue exploring this beautiful place this is awesome As you can see, we have a storm about to pass right over us. Holy smokes, these are moving in quick. You can probably see them moving, watch. Come over that mountain right there. So I'm about to sit in at least the vestibule right here. I can still look around until this storm hits me, but might have to take shelter for a little bit. <laughs> get the get the goods in the, in the tent. I will say I never had a um, set up my tent with such a nice view before. That's for sure. This is freaking beautiful. Well, as you can tell, it's raining, and this is my tent's first rain. So hopefully, I'll stay dry. This tent's so small, I think
feel like I'm gonna start getting claustrophobic, but what can you do? Just wait it out. Well, as you can see, I survived the storm and my tent actually held up like I guess it's supposed to. I didn't get wet, so we're good. It was coming down real hard for a second there. Pretty loud thunder. So it's passed and from the looks of it, I haven't looked over there at the binos yet or the spotter, but it looks like those goats, that, the four goats that were up there moved on. It's so amazing if you can see this. I mean, if any of you are familiar with the Bridger Mountain Range, it's just right outside of Bozeman, or I mean, probably the front front half of it is in Bozeman. I'm more on the north end, I guess you could say, at Hard Scrabble Peak, which is right behind me up there. But man, it's beautiful. I haven't been actually to this spot in the Bridgers. I've been to one other location before, but. This is the first time I've been up on the ridge and it is awesome. Historically, I, what I was told last night at the, at the, the Goat Alliance like, meeting with the biologists um, was that these mountain goats that live here in the Bridger Range are like, I think, I don't know how to compare to other states, but in Montana, they're like the biggest trophy class billy goats. And even the nannies, they were saying, have nine to 10 inch horns, which is pretty, <laughs> They're big, so they're really they're really cool. So these are some pretty coveted tags, I would imagine. There was a tag holder for this this hunting season that has a goat tag here. He was out out at the meeting tonight, and he's he's counting goats this weekend. And that's man, what a lucky guy. <laughs> they only give out five tags for this this range, so it's a pretty tough draw. So I gotta start um, <laughs> racking up some points if I wanna. I want to draw the Bridger Range for goats. But anyways, I'm gonna get to it, and I'll see if show you guys if I find anything. Well, storm's back at it again. More rain, so I have taken refuge again. But I did turn up three billies. Saw them earlier today, actually. So I've turned them up twice now today. I haven't found the big group again though. Hopefully they'll be back around tomorrow morning if I can't get out. I can't get back out tonight. It's about 7.30 now. So, I have two more hours of light, daylight basically. So, we'll see if uh, this rain passes. If it does, we'll try to get back out there. If not, tomorrow morning will be our chance. So it looks like I got a neighbor here next to my tent. Man, is he loud. Well, good morning guys. Just um, opened up the tent and I immediately saw there's this big dark or like big open marshy grove down below and all yesterday I kept looking at it. Oh shoot. Just cause I, I was like, there's gotta be like a moose or something's gotta be coming through there at one point. And this morning, as soon as I opened my tent window, I see a big dark spot right in the middle of it. I'm like, it's gotta be a moose, so. There he is. Nice bull moose out there. Pretty big one. I mean, from what I can tell, I haven't seen too many like big bull moose before. So he looks decent size to me, but that's awesome. So I'm having a little bit of a rough start to my morning here. So after I heated up my breakfast in the mountain house, I spilt half the bag on the floor right outside my tent. Luckily, it was some of it was sal salvageable. Most of it was salvageable. But um, then I stood up out of my tent and spilt my hot coffee all over the ground like I literally poured it all out of the pot it was boiling in so I'm restarting a new one but on the good news is I did spot the first goat of the morning it looks like a young billy it's right out there feeding on this rocky slope so I don't know if it's the one I spotted or that was hanging out by us yesterday it looks Looks similar. I haven't got. A, I gotta look at the spotting scope a little bit more, but I'm trying to get my whole breakfast and coffee situation going and go, going up again, and then trying to pack my bag and take down my tent. 
but he doesn't look like he'll go anywhere for a while so I'll keep tabs on him and then make sure to write him down on our data entry sheet and then um, see if we can find any more before we take off looks like it's gonna be a beautiful day the wind was howling this morning but it's slowed down now and I can still see the moose see the goat so hey can't ask for a better way to start a Sunday morning this weekend I'd say it's so beautiful up here all right let's see what we can find Well, the hike out has begun, and this first part's gonna be the hardest. It's basically side hilling all the shale rock, which that was kind of the worst part, but it's getting better. It flattens out right here a little bit, a little more grassy. But we got about four miles to the truck, and it's home sweet home. Let's go turn in our data that we collected this weekend and that'll be a wrap on the trip man unless we see some goats on the way out ah oh, gosh that just nailed me in the knee holy smokes like a mini I don't even know what those are but they've been sticking me all weekend so if anyone knows what those plants are called let me know <laughs> but yeah like I said maybe we'll see some goats on the way out but maybe not so we'll We'll see how she goes. So that's where we just came from, all the way up there. Now, oh boy, dropped the pole. Almost back to the truck. A little farther we go. Man, it was an awesome weekend though. Look at this, just beautiful summer Montana day. Don't let that fool you though. Thunderstorms could hit at any second. <laughs> it's what I've learned from living here. So just be prepared for every type of weather condition. So I just got back home from the surveys. It was an overall successful weekend, pretty awesome. Just dropped off the survey form with all the data entries and I'll overlay that right here. So you guys, if you guys are interested in seeing what that looked like, there you go. Pardon my uh, terrible handwriting. <laughs> But anyways, it was a freaking fun weekend, and this is, this is pretty awesome because I have a, this rad view of the Bridger Mountains right from my balcony here at home. So there they are. And let's see if I can point this out. We were more up here, right up in that area. Hard scrap peak. It was a beautiful spot. Saw a ton of goats. I've never seen that many mountain goats before in one group and never been that close to mountain goats before so it was overall an amazing experience and there's just it's some there's something cool about seeing those animals especially that close because that's that's an animal that your average person will go their whole life without ever seeing one of these in person so it's it's pretty freaking cool and that 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 just kind of makes them all that more special that but i mean it makes sense there's some if you want to see them, you have to put a little effort into actually seeing them. I guess some places more than others. But anyways, thanks for watching the video, guys, and I hope you guys found it uh, somewhat entertaining, informative. If, if I overlaid any informative information, I don't know. But if you guys are interested in learning more about the Rocky Mountain Goat Alliance, I'll put a link in the bio. If you guys want to learn more about volunteer opportunities you can check out their website if you're interested in doing some type of mountain goat work um, you're gonna have to I guess find a state that has mountain goats and then go to their um, like fish and wildlife or Department of Natural Resources or something like that and you can uh, probably contact them and get some info on volunteer opportunities or any type of research studies and stuff like that so anyways thanks again for watching guys and I'm getting real excited as it's gonna be my first fall here in Montana first hunting season and I'll have a deer and elk tag I know that first ever elk hunt first ever time elk hunting so this is going to be a whole new learning curve so you guys are going to want to stick around and watch how that goes that should be an entertaining uh those should be some entertaining videos <laughs> i don't know how why or how but it's 
it's going to be an interesting season. It's going to be a fun season, and hope you guys will follow along and see how my first season here in Montana goes. Anyways, thanks, guys.